Good morning, true believers. Good day. Not sure what time of day you're going to be watching this, but um, this right here is another um, workshop lesson that we're uh, going over um, for song leaders, song leader training, if you will. Um, and again, this is, uh, you know, those who may not have a mentor, and even if you do, this might be a good aid um, to your work in developing as a song leader. So what we want to talk about today is we want to talk about the why, what, and how of song leading. Um, last time we got into the mindset of the song leader, um, what the individual uh, needs to be you know, zeroed in on as a song leader. Um, well, like I said, we're going to talk about the why, what, and how. And of course, um, I want to bring to you uh, just some, some, some notes that I've shared with song leaders across uh, the Mid-Atlantic region um, that... Uh, Many have said they have found helpful. I've found helpful myself, um, just in terms of understanding the mechanics. Uh, we want to deal with specifically um, why. And I know when we dealt with mindset, we kind of touched on it. But I want to give you book, chapter, and verse on it. Um, so I actually have my Bible sitting right here. But in Ephesians five eighteen to 21, the Bible says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart unto the Lord, uh, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Um, first and foremost, when we're dealing with that particular passage of scripture, we want to deal with one, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Um, how shall I put this? In not getting distracted, what we're simply saying is, now, the beginning of verse 18 says, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is access, but be filled with the Spirit. Um, he was dealing with something specifically, the author Paul. Um, but it was, in fact, a distraction, something that detracted away from the task at hand, which is to uh, direct the Spirit towards God, to be filled with the Spirit. You can't be filled, there's a sermon here, you can't be filled with something else and expect at the same time to be filled with the Spirit. So it takes... Uh, diligent effort to not be filled with something else does that make sense you must be filled with the spirit so dealing in verse 18 the filled with other spirits deals figuratively and literally figuratively and literally sometimes a negative spirit can detract can can stop you listen there have been times I've walked into the congregation I've looked at a song leader and been like, you got it today, bro. Because where my head is, mm -mm. I have no business being up there on that pulpit. Leading these God's people and so on. No, 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 no. I have no business doing that at all. Because my spirit is not right. And it makes no sense. If my spirit is not right, the one thing you want to understand with worship service is that um, with worship service, your spirit comes across to the people. Go in there with an angry spirit and, and think, oh, well, I can mask this. No, everybody will see something's wrong. Because the spirit connects us all. So, what they feel. All right, everybody, just turn your song to him 371. All right, we're, gonna, we're, we're just going to sing. We're just going to sing him 371. Amen. Hey, you know, let's switch that song. Let's go to him 118. Him 118. Lords are rocking. You know, let's let's go somewhere else. Because, and it becomes a problem. So it, <clears throat> excuse me. So it makes sense to not be distracted. That's why I say, you know, I've said this uh, to myself first. Um, I'm going to get into why I just said that. But I said this to myself first, and then later on. I had shared it with other song leaders where I said, listen, you shouldn't be getting ready for worship on Sunday morning. We're going to pause for a minute. This isn't just about being a song leader. Worship is directed toward God. And because it's directed toward God, um, this isn't something you should take as, oh, well, I'm just going here. We're going, okay, let him sing. This is something we have to have 
on our mind. We have to be Godward in focus. We talked about that in the last video. We have to be Godward in focus the entire time. So when it comes to preparing for worship, I'm prepared for worship Sunday night. You know that song, I Can't Wait Till Sunday Morning? I can't, I can't wait to Sunday morning, can't wait to Sunday morning, can't wait to Sunday morning. Well, that's the bass line. Well, I said I can't wait till Sunday morning to sing and shout, praise the Lord. I'm singing that when I leave worship service Sunday evening. Matter of fact, uh, well, no, that's another joke. But that that that's where my head is because, you know, it's just... To have the mindset to give God the glory all the time. That's, that's, that's potent. That's powerful. And so it's important for you to understand that just in dealing with uh, your walk with Christ each and every day, this can't be something that you save up just for Sunday. This every day. You, you, you've got you've got. You're, you're in a battle against, what does the Bible say in Ephesians 6? Against principalities and powers and darkness in wicked, spiritual wickedness in high places. This is Ephesians uh, 6, I believe, around 10 to 13, somewhere in that range right there, where, before he goes to talk about the armor of God. Because we're not fighting against flesh and blood. This is something you have to do every day. See, the individual that wants to be a song leader, there is... Let me, let me, the individual that is a Christian has a fight every single day. That's why when worship comes, it's an explosion of giving praise and honor to God. It's an explosion within, from within, from the spirit of you toward God. So this isn't something that is, 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 well, checklist Sunday. All right, I'm a good Christian. No, this is this is an expression of living and walking with God each and every day. And to a song leader, I, I, I share with you, I'll charge you even. You have a powerful responsibility. And it might seem in talking about this, it seems like much, but this is everyday living. This is lifestyle change. This is Christian lifestyle. And if you understand this, really grasp it, then you start to pay attention to removing distractions so that you can move forward, so that you can build to the next level, so that you can grow, so that you can do what it is that you need to do to help the church grow greatly, to help the church express themselves greatly in praising God. Make sense? I hope it does.